Hey guys, second trip out this year for uh, the first ice, so second ice we'll call it. We're going to a uh, Rainbow Lake and there should be some taggers in there. We'll hopefully get on some of those. If the lake's not producing, we're going to head over to a different lake and try our luck there. But it uh, should be a good day. It's minus 19 out. It's pretty chilly. And uh, we just had a big snowfall. I'm stuck behind a snowplow right now doing like 30 kilometers per hour on the highway. So that sucks. But uh, what can you do? After a big snowfall, we're going to get out there. Hopefully the ice is good. So we're going to do a first check as soon as we get on. Bust the hole with the axe. Make sure there's a safe amount of ice to be walking on. And uh, we'll go from there. So stay tuned. Should be a good day. It's a good spot for something warm. A little breakfast sandwich right here. We got to uh, get our energy up. It's probably a run and gun day. Brisk this morning. I think it's like minus 21. I feel my mustache freezing to my chin. Got the new clam. 28 inch medium light action rod, the graphite series. We're gonna test it out today. Throw on the IX, or ICX5 piss fun reel. And we're gonna start off with an Acme Hyperglide, get the marker out there, see if we can locate, bring in some fish. Then we'll, uh, if not, we'll move. Maybe change it up to something that rattles, and we'll get to it right now. Well, first fish of the day. Just came in. I was still digging a new hole. Hit me a San Juan worm. Nice big rainbow. Fatty. Oh yeah. Big old chunky rainbow. Look at that beauty. San Juan worm I tied up. We'll get him back in the water. Perfect release. We had some fish cruising around with uh, some bigger hooks. So I, they weren't interested. So I switched to a San Juan worm and a small uh, nymph. He came in and I saw him sit right on it. So I just lifted it and he just, he was on. Great rainbow, what a chunk to start off the morning. Let's get set up again. Hey guys, let's take a minute and talk first ice safety. I know everyone's excited to get out there. We're just getting iced over on a lot of our trout ponds here in Alberta, out in the foothills and the mountains. So here's a few quick tips just to be a little safer. Number one, before you hit the ice, like right against shore, bust the hole, see how deep it is. And you're gonna wanna check as you walk further and further out onto the lake because your depth's gonna fluctuate. And most people say four inches and up is perfect for walking on. But in an instant, you can hit a spot where there's a spring, which is gonna drop you down to maybe one inch and you could fall through there. So just make sure, check a few times as you go, stay close to shore. Second thing, these ice pegs are a great investment because you can uh, you just leave them hanging here. If you do fall through, you're just gonna crawl your way out. These little plastic protectors have nails under them so you can spike your way out and get out of that water as fast as you can pretty much and get to a warm vehicle to warm up. Next thing, Watch out for soft spots. You can tell the soft spots 
they'll be dark. It'll look like a dark patch of water or close to the shoreline under trees or where uh, roots are sticking out. That's an easy place to fall through too. And it's always good to have a buddy system. Today I got no, um, rock and solo, but I've taken my measures to make sure this is ice safe to this point and I'm not moving around too much. So hopefully that helps you get on the ice a little earlier and get out and have some fun.